How to replace the head drum bearings. If you have a problem with your tail or idler drum bearings, you will need to remove and replace the whole tail drum. Please go to our YouTube channel for a video on how to do this. If the head or drive drum bearings become worn or damaged, you will need to replace them. You will need two people to do this job. First, remove the external scrapers and belt and remove the head or drive drum assembly from the conveyor. Go to our YouTube channel to watch videos on how to do this. Remove the chain, sprockets and bushes from the head drum assembly. Go to our YouTube channel to watch videos on how to do this. Remove the four gearbox bolts using a ratchet with a 13mm socket and extension. You can use an air ratchet for this if you have one available. Lift off the gearbox. Undo the four cap head bolts holding the middle cross member in place. There are two on each side. Slide out the cross member. On the right hand side of the drum shaft, loosen the two grub screws halfway using an Allen key. There's no need to remove them completely. Remove the right hand side plate. Then, repeat the process to remove the left-hand side plate from the drum. To replace the right-hand side bearing, Unscrew the three bolts on the inside surface of the side plate. Lift out the bearing assembly. Insert the new bearing from the inside of the plate making sure the grub screw holes are towards the outside surface of the plate. Replace the three bolts. To replace the left-hand side bearing, remove the tracking plate bolt using a 19mm ratchet. Unscrew the three bearing bolts on the inside surface of the side plate. Lift out the bearing assembly. Insert the new bearing from the outside of the plate, making sure the grub screw holes are towards the outside surface of the plate. Replace the three bolts. Replace the tracking plate bolt. To reassemble the head drum, first lay the left hand side plate on its side. The drum is not symmetrical. The longer shaft with the key steel hole belongs on the right hand side and the shorter shaft belongs on the left hand side. Lift the drum onto the left hand side plate making sure you are inserting the shorter shaft into the plate. 
Place the middle cross member as shown. The side with five holes in must be next to the drum. Make sure the top surface is aligned towards the top of the plate. Secure the cross member to the plate using two M8 by 20 cap head bolts. Lift the right hand side plate onto the drum, making sure the holes are aligned. Secure the cross member to the plate using two M8 by 20 cap head bolts. To align the drum correctly, insert the head drum assembly halfway into the end of the conveyor. You will need to be able to access the grub screws on the bearings. The drum needs to be centered between the side plates with equal space on either side. Adjust the position of the drum by gently tapping the head drum shaft with a wooden or rubber hammer. Check the drum can turn freely. When the drum is aligned correctly, tighten the four grub screws on the bearings. Remove the assembly from the conveyor. Lift the gearbox back into place, making sure the four holes are aligned. Carefully replace the four M8 by 25 gearbox bolts. Then, tighten all the bolts. Lastly, replace the chain, sprockets, and bushes and put the head unit assembly back into the conveyor. Then replace the belt and external scrapers, track and tension the belt. It is now ready to use.